work. This tutorial will cover some of the basic course content items you may want to add to your Blackboard course. You will learn how to add a course menu item, contact information, a folder, a file, and an assignment. Adding a course menu item allows you to create a content area or tool link that students can navigate to using a link in the course menu. A new content area such as assignments provides one-stop access to your students for all assignments within your course. You can also add a tool link to the announcements page or to the My Grades or Student view of the gradebook for your course. Let's add the announcements tool link to the course menu now. Click on the blue button with the white plus sign and select Create Tool Link. Notice that the type already displays Announcements. This is simply because Announcements happens to come first in the alphabetical listing. You could change this type using the drop down menu. For now, we'll leave it as Announcements. Type in the name you want to display on the course menu. I will use the name Announcements but you could give this menu link a different name, such as Start Here. Check off the checkbox to make this new menu item available to users and Submit. The new menu item appears at the bottom of the course menu. Use the double arrow icon to drag and drop the new item to the position of your choice. One of the default course menu items is Faculty Info. Students will be able to access your contact information by clicking this link. But first, you need to add your contact information. Inside Faculty Info, click on the Create Contact button. Enter your title, your name, your email address, a work phone number, your office location, and your office hours. Click on the Yes option button in Section 2 to make your profile available. You can also choose to attach an image of yourself as well. Click the Submit button to add your contact information to the Faculty Info page. Another default course menu item is Course Content. This is where students can access any lecture files or notes, handouts, lessons, or other materials you have in your course. Typically, a Blackboard course will contain a lot of learning materials and you will organize this content by week, chapter, unit, or module. You can use folders to help with your organization of content. Click Build Content and select Content Folder to add a new folder. Give the folder a name, for example, Week 1. Type in a description of the types of content that a student will find in this folder, if desired. Click the Submit button to create the folder. Now that you have a folder created, let's add a file inside of it. Click on the folder name. Click on the Build Content button and select File. Find the file on your computer using the Browse My Computer button. Provide a name for the link to the file that students will see. The file I chose is LectureNotes.docx, but I want students to see Week 1 Lecture Notes. Click on the Submit button to add this file. A 
link to the file is now available in the week one folder. But what if you wanted to give your students a bit more information about what to do with the file? In this case, you would add an item instead of a file. Click on the Build Content button and select Item. Provide a name for this item. Next, provide instructions for your students in the text area. In Section 2, use the Browse My Computer button to locate the file to attach on your computer. Click on the Submit button to create this new item. Now the Week 1 folder contains one file and one item. In this case, they both direct students to the same document. You will probably not want to do this in your Blackboard courses. One of these methods will work best for your needs. It is up to you. Blackboard assignments allow you to provide students with a way to submit assignments electronically. To create an assignment, Click on the Create Assessment button and choose Assignment. Provide a name for your assignment. And enter in the instructions for the assignment. In Section 3, provide the possible points for the assignment. Click the Submit button to create the assignment. Students can now see the assignment, read the instructions, and submit it for grading using the Browse My Computer link that is inside the assignment link.